plan 34 is on increasing literacy among citizens in rural areas through the use of change agents. Now, this project is focusing mainly on increasing literacy. I believe that illiteracy is a major contributing factor to non-participation in governance and democracy. If people are educated, or if they are literate, at least if they can read and write, it means their way of thinking changes, the way they assess issues changes, and the higher the chances of them participating in democracy. In most cases in Africa, those living in rural areas are disadvantaged when it comes to literacy. If you can't read and write in your local language, how can you do or participate even in governance, let alone talking about reading and writing in a foreign language? So this project is specifically focusing on increasing the number of persons that can read and write in their local language and in an international language. And this is the way it's going to go about. We will go to rural areas, select rural areas, select people that we call change agents. Now these people are going to be either farmers, whoever you are. We're going to train them to be literate, to be able to read and write in their language and in an international language. And after they are enough that they can read and write in their language and in their foreign language, these people are going to be change agents. They will go back to their community and also adapt about four or five persons, teach them also the same thing, how to read and write. And then those that will be trained will also in turn get other people and teach them so that by the end of the day, we are going to get a larger number of those living in the area, rural areas, able to read and write in the English language. Now, I believe that after that is done, we will be very sure that they will be interested in knowing what is happening. Because if you want to access the internet, if you want to use the social media, everything is in a foreign language. Or it's a language that you need to read and write. So this is what I'm going to do. So when um, we get these change agents, these change agents are going to be paid away, like we're going to give them stipends. And these agents, as I said, can be farmers, people in their rural areas. So they'll go back to their community so that their source of income will be what they are doing. We are going to help them, aside giving them the literacy education, we are also going to help them in what they are doing so that they will have a source of income because it's going to be more of a long-term project. Because once you are educated, you also have to pass your knowledge to the others. So that's the idea that I think that um, can help achieve the needed results to get people more participating in government.